Okay, so the um, the lectionary that we have within our church, um, it, 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 there's not just one lectionary, we should say, to begin with. There are various um, traditions, um, and when we look back at the um, manuscript evidence, we have uh, manuscripts dating back to the, the 14th century, 14th or 15th century. Um, however, there were one complete lectionary um, until 20th century. That's, yeah, uh, that's right. The libate and the detachment, <laughs> the upper houses and the, the lower houses um, and, until they were consolidated and and finalized and and got this the kind of final stamp of of approval in the church i mean that 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 goes to a, a larger point of uh you know people have asked me how do saints get canonized in the ethiopian orthodox church you know it, it seems the the roman catholics for example have a very sort of structured organized way whereas ours you know it it, it doesn't seem to be uh, very top down it's more bottom up in terms of someone becomes a, a local hero and um, you know, more and more people hear about them, and and it seems like the the lectionary is is similar in that regard. Like it wasn't uh, some king or some patriarch who uh, you know it wasn't a patriarch of of Alexandria who said this is the lectionary, or it wasn't any of the kings, as far as I know. But um, kind of local traditions gathering until they consolidate. Is that is that fair from your understanding as well? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Just because there was some um, outside noise outside that I didn't want to uh, include in the video, but I think you know, you know you're quite right there. Um, you know uh, there are various uh, uh, traditions of uh, interpretation. You know the common traditions, so the um, Chan school, yeah, um, Beitoch, um, and so on. So they all uh, contribute. Uh, in their own way, you know, to producing um, a, a final, uh, a completed work such as a lectionary. Um, so you, you know, you read about uh, in some of the um, research that's been done on the lectionary. You know, um, scholars just saying, you know, read this today, read that. You know, it's, it's basically um, done from from memory. But then, yeah, it's only in the twentieth century that you find uh, a book, a completed book. Called Metafa Gatawi, with you know all the um, the commemorations for the whole year, the you know, 365, 366 days that the sanctuary, that's the, the calendar of saints, saints days throughout the year, and also the the temporal, um, which is as I said the um, the part which I've focused on mostly for the um, the Sunday readings, and Sunday lessons. So. Um, um, yeah, that you only find that in the 20th century. So my own work is not completely uh, a work of complete innovation. It's based within the tradition, um, and I've looked at various ways um, that the mirror was chosen before. So looking at some of the maps um, um, that have rubrics in them and um, state that you know certain miracles should be read at a certain time um, and ask the question, you know, why uh, that has been chosen. Um, you know, the, the, yeah, the, the miracles themselves, the, you know, manuscripts of and Tamari, yes, uh, but also books like Metafa uh, Gibrahim Amat, which includes, you know, the readings of the miracles for various hours and, you know, uh, looking at why uh, certain miracles have been selected and uh, the uh, kind of approach that the, the scholars have taken to, you know, compiling that kind of work and really taking that uh, thought of the fathers and, and running with it to, to produce something that, you know, we don't have to just flick around in a book for, you know, 30 seconds before we approach no, <laughs> uh, my phone. Pardon me. Uh, oh, you're fine. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Just put that on. 